Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is officially the best time of the year and regardless of the current situation of the world, I'm still celebrating Halloween like I always do. I have been doing a fall AF tutorial for the last three years, so I thought might as well continue this little tradition and I love uploading these videos and it just gets me super excited for the month. So yeah, Fall is my favorite season. Halloween is my entire life. I basically celebrate Halloween all year long. You guys know that already, but I really thrive in October. Obviously, Halloween is going to be a little bit different this year. Um, I'm still celebrating it at home, and I'm still going to be doing Halloween looks. I talk a little bit more about that in, like, the tutorial. But yeah, so I am just trying to get, like, in the fall mood. It is still really hot outside, so it doesn't only, really, like, feel like fall. And obviously, just, like, the way that everything is going right now, it doesn't even feel like Halloween is coming up. But I have just been trying to distract myself from everything, the world, my own life, <laughs> by doing what I love, which is getting ready for Halloween, decorating my house for Halloween, decorating my room. Room is pretty much like this year round, but I do like to add more like Halloween-esque things to my room as the month goes by. I'm super excited for this month. Anyways, this is the look that I came up with today. It's super fall, warm tone, dark, right on my alley. So if you guys want to see how I got this look right here, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so we're just going to start off with the eyes. I have a couple palettes. I'm going to use all of them or wet but I did bring out the new ColourPop sandstone palette um this just launched I think two weeks or a week two weeks ago I don't know but it's this one it's very like fall also brought out the Fenty number no. nine um wine palette this one is really cute I've been meaning to use this one and I also have the BH Cosmetics um cherry on top palette which I've been so excited to use too there are some like darker colors in here as well I think I'm gonna do more like red tones I think today I don't know those I love those colors start off with the sandstone palette um I'm gonna go in with canyon loop which is this shade right here I'm just gonna throw this in the crease just kind of placing that down first and I'm gonna blend it out I really wanted like a warm orange tone in the crease first um, just to kind of start warming everything up. I'm going to add it's this shade down here. It's like a little bit more of a warmer, um, darker brown. I'm going to take this with like a little bit of a smaller brush. Still fluffy, but just like a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to add this a little bit lower than where we put that other shade. That's what I'm going to do for that shade. And then for the next shade, I think I am going to go into that Tarte shade. This is in the BH Cosmetics Cherry on Top palette. It's like this really bright red. I don't know how it's going to look with it, but we'll see. I really just want to like get more into the reds now. So I'm just going to add this also into the crease. But I also took this like on a little bit of a fluffier brush just so it could kind of get everywhere and blend into those other orangey shades. Like that. Ooh, okay, that actually worked out. I go back with the brush that I used with Canyon Loop just to blend out these edges. Going back with the red shade Tarte one more time just to add some more of that red. I really like this color a lot. Like, it's really, really pretty. And then I'm going to go in two sprinkles and this is the shade that I'm going to take in like the on the lid but I'm going to start building it up in the lower crease first just so everything is nice and blended but it's this shade right here it's like this dark wine color oh that's really pretty so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this off in this outer corner over here and then build that up into this like lower crease over here and then once I have that blended out then I'll go in with that same color on the lid um, I just like to do this because sometimes if I just go in straight with the color on the lid, there's kind of like a harsh line. So I like to just build it up first. Of this color so much. Like it's such a pretty like wine burgundy. More like a wine color. Like I said, I just like to place that down, blend it out, and then I'll go in with this um, all over the lid. But just doing this, like, really gives it a nice gradient. 
and it's a little bit easier to blend out. Back with the brush that I used with Tarte, um, I'm not taking any additional product, I'm just using whatever was left on the brush to blend out. Actually, I'm going to take like a little bit. Now I am going to take the sprinkle shade on a flat brush and pack that on to the lid. Blend out any harsh edges from putting that on the lid. That you should get a pretty nice blend like that. And these colors actually blend it out really nicely. I don't think I've ever used any BH Cosmetics eyeshadows before. And I'm pretty impressed. I really, really like this palette a lot. You guys know I love these tones, so I'll definitely get a lot of use out of it. I know this came out like kind of maybe like a couple weeks ago, but I've been like meaning to play around with it. Um, I just haven't had a chance yet, but um, now that I am, I really love it. I just went ahead and did this eye really quick, so let's move on to the skin. Um, I still wear the exact same like face routine all the time, so it's just the Pretty Fresh collection from ColourPop primer, foundation, and concealer. Um, so I'm just taking the primer. This is my favorite primer ever. Um, another primer I've actually been using, I mean, I haven't been doing makeup that often, but um, when I have done it, like a couple times, I've been using the uh, e.l.f. Dew Primer um, because of Rocio, actually, because she always talked about it. And I use it, and I actually really like it, but it does make me a little dewy, and it is still, like, hot outside today. For the foundation and the concealer, I'm um, shade light 45 in both. Um, I absolutely love this foundation so much, the ColourPop Pretty Fresh one. Best foundation ever. Like, I love this so much. This foundation and the Fenty Hydrating Foundation are, like, literally my favorite foundations and i'm just going in with the concealer i just take a little bit i've been using a lot less concealer like i literally just do like like that and call it a day also kind of cleaning up the edge over here also take some of that concealer on my nose I'm just going to go ahead and set my under eyes. I'm using the Fenty um, setting powder. I'm in the shade Butter. I used to think that I didn't like this powder. I've learned that uh, less is more with this powder because if you use too much, it's super, super like matte. Um, but if I literally just take like a little bit, it actually is really nice. And I love the way it makes my under eyes just look really nice and smooth. I'll use the same powder later to bake, so I'm just going to keep that out. Um, yeah, by the way, uh, I love this palette. I'm definitely going to get so much use out of it. I'm, like, absolutely obsessed. So, for bronzer, I use the same bronzer. I haven't, like, switched up my face routine in so long. Um, I'm using the Alamod Cosmetics uh, Brighten and Bronze um, Palette Trio. And, by the way, they sell these at Target now. I am so excited to see Alamod in Target. It is just so exciting. I'm so happy for Gabby. And I love Gabby so much. I'm just so happy for her. So I use the medium tan one. So I just use uh, the middle shade the most. That's the one that works the best for me. And this is a Makeup Shack T20 brush. Oh, I am getting ready for like Halloween, doing Halloween looks and stuff. I don't exactly know how many Halloween looks I'm going to do. I have a few already on my list that I've had for literally months now. Like I've had a list of looks that I wanted to do since January or like February actually um and yeah hopefully they come through and follow through um I just I don't know I this these days I just don't have like the energy obviously um there's a lot going on so I don't know but um I do have a list and I have gone and bought stuff already for looks um I just have to get some more things I kind of get things like as I go along by the way I'm using the ColourPop uh Wayfarer blush I love this blush I've seen this brush from Araceli it's their new like blush what's it called the cheek brush I love this um but yeah so I have stuff like set for Halloween looks I just don't know how many I'm gonna get through um I don't know we'll see I know you guys don't like expect anything of me right now and I know a lot of you will tell me like you know you're fine you don't need to post or anything like but posting and stuff gets my mind off of everything I want to and obviously like Halloween makes me super happy it's my favorite holiday my favorite season so I'm actually going into the Alamad um, blush trio really quick I am going to take a little bit of this shade 
This is the medium tan one. By the way, I'm contouring my nose with my contour powder that no longer exists. It's the one from Makeup Geek. I've talked about this before, um, but I'm just using that. When they ever will bring it back, I don't know. But yeah, so um, I'm getting everything ready though, so I'm really excited. And it is exciting me. It's getting me like looking forward to something. So the thing that I'm most think like I'm thinking about is I don't know if I'm gonna film the looks. Filming looks takes so long and like I truly just I, I don't have the energy and like willpower right now to film Halloween looks. I definitely will do them on Instagram. Like I'll post the pictures and stuff. But also I feel like the looks that I have mine aren't like really anything super like that you would need a tutorial on, you know? So I don't know. Like do you guys like watching Halloween tutorials or like do you guys just like seeing them on Instagram because... I personally like would rather just like see them on Instagram. I literally never watch anyone's like Halloween tutorials besides Ashley's, Atley. Well, she's not Atley anymore. She's Ashley by, but you guys know who I'm talking about. That's my friend Ashley. <laughs> she's the only one that I ever watch like Halloween tutorials because other than that, I like never do. But I like to like look at them on Instagram. That's like my favorite and that makes me super excited. And it's like just gets me inspired and everything just seeing them on Instagram. So let me know because even when I post tutorials and stuff, I feel like they don't do as well. Even though I get so many like questions like if I'm going to film certain things and stuff. So I don't know. You guys let me know. So like I feel like when I'm filming like Halloween looks or like when I'm doing Halloween looks, I'm like all over the place. Like I'm like getting things from like the other room, like trying to find something else in my like collection that I can like use for certain things. So like when I film them, I swear it literally takes like four or five hours to film anything. But yeah, so let me know you guys. I don't know. Like if you guys don't like care for like the actual tutorials, let me know because I will definitely just upload them on Instagram and call it a day. <laughs> kind of like I don't think I did. I did a couple videos. Oops. I did a couple videos last year, but I think most of the majority of the looks that I did were on Instagram. So, okay, so for my waterline, I kind of want to use this um, gel, cream gel liner from ColourPop. This one was also part of the Sandstone collection. This one is Red Rock, but it's kind of more like on the orangier side. And I do like, I want to <laughs> use the, my like, Holy Grail Alkaline Liner from Urban Decay. So let me see how this looks. And if I don't like it, then I'll put Alkaline in. But this one's actually like really pretty. It's like a really rusty orangey red color. So let's see. Oh my god. The only thing I hate about ColourPop eyeliners is like you have to like kind of wear them down a little bit just because they're so pokey. <laughs> like they're super sharp at first. Oh my god. This is so nice. It's like a rusty pumpkin-y orange actually. It's more orange. It's like a perfect rusty color, like rusty terracotta. And it is so pigmented in the waterline. Holy crap. I feel like this might be like the best cream gel liner that ColourPop has ever done. It is so pigmented. I love that. The lash line, I am going to take Tarte. Mm, actually, I'm going to take Sprinkles first. And I'm going to put that like really, really close to the lash line and then I'll blend it out with another shade. I have been getting like my memories like on Instagram, like when they tell you like on this day, so and so many years ago, um, I keep getting memories <laughs> from Disneyland. I really miss Disneyland during Halloween time so much. Obviously, that's like the least important thing in the world right now, but... I just miss the serotonin from walking into Disneyland during Halloween. I want to go, I don't know, like, I'm still scared to go places, you guys, but Knott's is having, like, a super, like, safe, social distance, like, Halloween thing where it's, like, taste, it's, like, food. Um, but there's, like, really cute photo ops and I kind of want to go, but I'm also, like, terrified of literally going outside, so. Um, I have been, like, making my way through, like, going to Target and stuff now because you guys know I wasn't like leaving at all. By the way, I'm going in with um, Canyon Loop. But yeah, so you guys know I wasn't like leaving my house at all because of my mom. So, you know, now I'm just trying to like distract myself and just kind of like just go to Target or something um, to pick up stuff that we need. But I also will kind of just like get some Halloween things here and there because um, I've been posting them like on my other Instagram, my Halloween Instagram, which if you guys aren't following, you guys should. It's Hollow Treens. Um, 
so yeah but i don't know like i put on some mascara i'm using i'm gonna use a different mascara on my lower lash line but just for my top lashes i'm using the huda beauty um legit lashes mascara i love this one i just put like a little light layer of mascara because i am going to put lashes on but i do have the fenty full frontal mascara in miss merlot i bought this a couple like a month ago i think now um and i haven't had a chance to use it so i want to use this on my lower lash line this is the like burgundy one or wine what is it yeah the wine one so i love the fenty full frontal mascara so i'm so excited that they did like a little mini one of some colorful ones kind of hard to tell because obviously i have like red eyeshadow on the bottom but it's fine kind of tell i feel like it would probably look a lot better if i didn't have red eyeshadow on my lower lash line so you'd be able to see it more but I mean, I can see it a little bit, like, in person, and, you know, it's there, so it's fine. <laughs> forgot to do highlighter, so I'm going to use this one. This is the Adicelli Tequila Highlighter. This is in the shade Reposado. So I'm just taking a little bit, because these are, like, really, really intense, but this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. You see how intense it is? I just want, like, a little bit. I don't want to do too much. All right, lashes are on. These are the ones I wear all the time. They're the JCAT Beauty ELT 43 lashes. Lastly, we just have lips, and I think I'm just gonna go just full on dark. Um, I'm gonna use the new, well, it's not that new. I actually bought this color last year. Um, I bought the little mini, and I loved it, but this one is Underdog. I love this color so much. It is so beautiful. So I have, they sent over the full size like a month ago or so, like a couple weeks ago and i'm just so excited so um i love the stunna lip paint formula so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply this i love this color my lips are super crooked but it's fine um i feel like this looks kind of like my look that i did last year except um it was a little bit more orange but this one is definitely more on the red side which i love still have some of that like orangey tone in the crease which is what i wanted i wanted to keep it like nice and warm i'm gonna add a little bit now that i have my makeup on like all of it i'm gonna kind of blend out this lower lash line with whatever was left on my brush with that orangey shade from the ColourPop palette I like to bring my eyeshadow down a lot so let me dust off this powder all right guys so this is the finished look i love these tones so much love doing like nice warm reds on the eyes are like my favorite looks to do so and i love these dark lips i know dark lips aren't like for everyone but i've always loved dark lips i've literally worn like this color lipstick since like high school like, i would wear this color like all this like not this exact color but like these colors i've never felt like weird in dark lips or anything i love them so I always do like go for a dark lip but you can definitely do this look with like a more nude lip or you can even switch it out for like maybe a darker red or even like a terracotta color but overall i love this look i feel so fall toned right now i mean weather outside is not fall weather it is 92 outside which by the way if you guys haven't i posted a picture of my ios 14 home screen and i love it so much but yeah it is 92 degrees outside it's disgusting it's still hot. Anyways, I hope that you guys like this video and I love doing these fall AF tutorials. They're like my favorite um, videos to film because like they just get me super excited for the month of October. I will link everything that I used down below um, for you guys. I know I kind of like jumped around a lot <laughs> in this video, but I will link it all for you guys down below. And I will link my other socials down below as well. Like I said, I did start a new Halloween Instagram. So if you're here because you love Halloween, fall, things go follow me over there um i'm still posting on my regular instagram obviously but that one is like strict like strictly dedicated to like horror things and halloween things and everything that i love and buy basically so um and like my home decor too i know a lot of you guys always ask me about like my home decor anyways i hope that you guys like this video if you guys did make sure you give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you're subscribed already and i will see you guys in my next video bye